Hi vlog. I look like I'm in some place really sketchy right now, but um, I'm in my parking garage. <laughs> Uh, my parents moved so now I park in a parking garage and it is like a little sussy because oh, The lights turn on as you walk like they're censored, but I'm always like oh, it's back now Anyways, um, I haven't oh, That one turned on and I just got very bright I haven't filmed in like a couple weeks because I was vlogging a ton in May with all the stuff that I went to as you all know But at the beginning of June, I didn't really do too much not my car so like sorry for this horrible angle i just moved out of my apartment in slow and i moved back home for summer and i won't be back in slow until january of next year because i'm sitting abroad oh i'll prop you guys up here i haven't vlogged in my car in a hot minute um that lighting is like horrible okay the lighting is just like horrendous period but yeah i moved home from slow and i'm living at home for the summer before i study abroad and my parents moved. Let me turn my car on and see if it has to be better lighting. But yeah, so I'm home for the summer. I've been home like two weeks and I've just been hanging out with friends, going to the beach and stuff. But today I wanted to vlog because I'm going to another concert. It's kind of been my thing. Vlogging concerts is really fun. You get to see like who I'm seeing, what I'm wearing, what I'm doing, all that stuff. So today I'm seeing bleachers at the forum. Sorry, this is like so dark, but I'm seeing bleachers at the forum with my parents It was like a late or it was a Mother's Day gift for my mom But like all three of us are going so I'm excited I hope Jack Antonoff brings out a guest because it's his only night in LA and you know who he's friends with Miss Taylor Lord and Lana Lord is In Europe, so I don't know about that and Taylor is a little far-fetched But you know, you never know it'd be cool if he brought out a guest But it's like noon right now and I don't have anything to do until I have to get ready and go so i'm gonna go to the gym and target and i thought i'd bring you along because i didn't know what i would be able to film like just tonight because like i'm gonna get ready we're gonna go to dinner and then like we're going to the concert um and my dad works for kia so he's like we have this little like club access at the forum so that should be cool but i didn't know like what i'll be able to vlog there so i just wanted to take you along on my day i think i'm gonna go to the gym first not really gonna like film film in there like oh what's up you guys but maybe i'll take some clips it's literally the gym i've been going to forever it's like not my favorite gym it's just like a 24 hour i miss my school gym it's so much nicer the cal poly rack oh yeah i'm also wearing a cal poly shirt today but yeah so i'm gonna go there and then i'm gonna go to target because I need to get some stuff. I'm getting my wisdom teeth out next week. So I need to get some stuff for that. And then I'm going to Las Vegas for my birthday in like a little over two weeks. So I also need to get some stuff for that. So I'll take you guys along. And then we're going to a concert later tonight. So that should be fun. I like never wear these sunglasses because they make me look so like, oh, no paparazzi. But I just got to the gym. So I'm going to go and I'll see you guys in like an hour. And then I'm going to go to Target. I'll give you a little haul. Hi, I finished up at the gym and I went to Target. I didn't vlog in either of those places because I don't go to this gym often and like I didn't want to like take any clips on my phone because it's like pretty like um, compact so there's like a lot of people around and then I'd never been to this Target so I didn't really know my way around so I didn't film anything. I can give you like a brief haul because that could be interesting. Just some like really random stuff. I got some like liquid IV. I've never had this before, but I'm going to Las Vegas for my birthday in two weeks. And Lord knows I cannot be like dehydrated in like the hot sun and like we're gonna be out late and we have like brunches and stuff. So I bought this, we can all try it. Um, me and my three friends are going, there's 10 sticks and we're there for like two days. So we can each have two or like whatever, however many you're supposed to take. Got some saline cause your girl has sinus problems. And then the rest of the stuff is, ooh, I opened it on accident. Stuff that I got for my wisdom teeth that I'm getting out. I got applesauce. I think that was one of the things I'm allowed to eat. I hope so. If not, I just like the applesauce. Um, I got mashed potato packets. I just got like buttery. Normally I get like garlic or something, but I was like, I don't know how much like seasoning I'm gonna want while my like mouth is like all messed up. And then I got three types of um, Annie's mac and cheese. I got bunnies and cheddar. Oh, I actually got like one type of craft because I was like, this is just like so cute. I got unicorn shapes. And then I got um, Annie's half shells, or like shells and white cheddar. And I really wanted a yerba mate because I'm gonna be up late tonight and like going to a concert so I won't have energy. But I forget that they like 
don't sell them everywhere like the guayaki ones like when I'm not in slow because like every Target has them in slow like a lot of restaurants and stuff have them too but there was a Starbucks and I was literally just driving here being like I'm so proud of myself for not going to Starbucks because like Starbucks is just like kind of whatever but they had a Starbucks so I got Starbucks what can you do but now I'm gonna drive back to my home and get ready for the concert and eat lunch even though we're having an early dinner, I'm definitely gonna wanna get some lunch. So I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna wear before I like do my makeup and stuff just so I can match it. But I got this shirt this weekend and it's from Brandy Malvo. I haven't bought a ton of stuff from Brandy just because I haven't really found anything I liked lately. But I got this denim shirt, which I thought was really cool. A lot of their stuff's just like way too basics, like just white t-shirts and stuff like that. And so this is something actually kind of unique. So I got this and then I have my black leather pants from Zara so I think I'm gonna try this and see if that looks good together if not I have to figure something out because I don't know what to wear but I'm gonna try this and then I have to bring a clear bag so I'm bringing this adidas backpack it's honestly kind of gross but because I have a clear bag policy might as well bring that my vaccine card hey so yeah I'm gonna try that on now horrible lighting but I just did my makeup I don't really know if I like how it looks. I never really do. I'm not very good at makeup. But yeah, I just tried to do some blue to match what I'm wearing. But I'm gonna get dressed now. I don't even know if I really like my outfit. I just like wish I had someone in my life to do all this stuff for me. I wish I had a makeup artist and a stylist. But you know, I don't. So I'm gonna get dressed now. My mom is home. My dad's like on a call real quick. And then we're gonna go pretty soon. Sorry that I'm kind of far away, but I have a whole bunch of stuff here, so I can't really get that close to my mirror. But this is what I'm wearing. I actually like this a lot better. This is what I was originally envisioning when I bought this shirt. I was like, okay, with my, like, faux leather pants. But I was trying them on earlier, and I didn't love how it looked. I tried on some skirts, but then I ended up liking this best open, so it's kind of more, like, I don't know, vesty. It's kind of cool. This is a lot, like, more, like, rock than bleachers, but, like, whatever. Did my hair in these braids. I think it kind of looks cool. I'm planning on cutting my hair soon, so I was like, let me just do all the stuff that I can do with long hair now. This is my mom's necklace. I think it's like Bulgari. Shirt, Brandy Melville, just got it this weekend. Jeans, or pants, Zara. This belt, Brandy Melville. And then I'm wearing my white platform shoes. I think they look okay. I could do my black docks instead, but I don't get to wear these that often, so I'm like, why not? Oh, and my earrings are also Brandy Melville. So I think we're gonna head out in a couple of minutes. At dinner, this is what My <laughs> her flat or her pot pie is huge. Got to the forum. <laughs> Way less crowded here than when I saw Harry like four years ago. So that's interesting to see. The difference in crowd, but yeah, we'll but see. we <laughs> got ice cream. Our fancy VIP wristbands. <laughs> you can barely hear me because we're at our seats and they're playing all of Mamma Mia, but here we are. I just met Dylan O'Brien and Logan Lerman in the VIP lounge, so I'll talk about that later on the vlog, but I'll put the pictures now. Yeah.
Jack Antonoff came. Hi, I'm back from the concert. I'm trying to be kind of quiet because my parents are going to bed because I'm about to go to bed. But um, just want to recap because I didn't really like, talk a lot inside the venue because like there was two opening acts and then met some of them so I didn't really get a chance to talk. But yeah, we got there and we got there really early because we did not read my dad's email that said that bleachers didn't come on until 9.15 and we were there at like 7. So we were just like sitting around for a while and I'm going to tell you this story while I take my hair out. And we're sitting in the like Kia club lounge because my dad works for Kia so he got us into that. And there was just like free food and stuff and it seemed pretty chill. And then this girl and this guy walk in and I immediately notice this girl's skirt. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Like, I don't even know who these people were, but that skirt is so cute. Like, it fits her so well. And then they sit at the table, like, next to us. And I'm just, like, looking at him and I'm like, that looks like Logan Lerman. And, like, I don't, I haven't watched, like, anything that he's in in, like, years. But I was like, he, that really looks like him. Like, from the last picture I saw him, of him, like, over, like, quarantine, like, that guy next to me really looks like him so then i'm like looking on instagram and i'm like yeah it does look like him but also guys like him kind of look alike like beard you know dark hair stuff like that so i was like i don't know i can't be sure and then i found his girlfriend's instagram and like god help me if anyone ever watches this and it's like what's wrong with her but then i found his girlfriend's instagram and i was like okay she's a little more recognizable so then i'm like i'm pretty sure the girl he's with is her because they have the same like curtain bangs kind of and i was like okay i'm pretty sure that's logan lerman and his girlfriend but i didn't want to like do anything unless i knew for sure because like i don't know i think that would be awkward my mom was like they'd probably be flattered like if they were just random people and you thought they were celebrities but i was like yeah but we're in this like club area and i don't want to like cause a whole scene also sorry for like seeing my toilet like everything it's like i have you propped up on my sink so that i can do this while taking my hair out and removing my makeup but i was like okay i'm gonna go to the bathroom and just like s like walk around to see them from a different angle just to like be sure and then i'll go say hi because as you all know from my lord vlog i don't really like if it's not a super like private intimate like thing like i don't mind like going up to like celebrities and stuff and saying hey because like why not you know you're gonna regret not saying hi to them more than you probably are gonna say or are if you were to go up to them so then i come out and they moved to another like spot so i was like shoot like now i really can't tell and then i'm just like waiting i'm asking my parents opinions because i'm like can you tell like if this is them like i don't really know and i was like yeah i'm pretty sure that's them like odds are like if they're together and they look exactly like this couple like that would be kind of strange and i'm like yeah you're right and then all of a sudden i see this guy with like a beard like a thicker beard and you know like kind of like not buzz but like short hair and i'm like that's still an o'brien like i know for a fact but just to be sure i went around and walked like on the other side of the bar just to be sure and it was definitely dylan o'brien so i was like okay and they were all kind of like talking in the same group like this couple that i was originally trying to figure out um they were all in the same group so i was like it's definitely logan lerman and that's definitely dylan o'brien because like i don't know if they're friends but like it would make sense if they were friends because they were both like the sci-fi like dystopia like movie like kids well i mean logan lerman was like percy jackson and percy being a wallflower which is like that era like when i was in middle school they were the heartthrobs so i was like okay that's definitely them and they're definitely friends because like their friend groups like all mingling so then i like hype myself up and like i'm gonna go talk to them and so i go to logan first and i'm like hey so sorry to like interrupt like i don't want to like impose or anything but i just want to say i'm a fan of your work and like i just found out that you're in like just got cast in like a new rom-com because i saw that on my twitter earlier and he was like oh yeah like what's your name I told him my name's chloe and he was like yeah that's so cool that you like knew that like i just got cast and i was like that's so cool like i don't really stay up to date with like movies and stuff but like i saw that so like congrats and he was like thank you and i was like when's it coming out and he was like i have no idea i know nothing they just cast me and like that's all i know and i was like slay and he was so nice and i was like are you excited for bleachers and he was like yeah i'm super excited how about you and i was like yeah hello i'm vlogging <laughs> 
I'm updating the vlog on everything. Well, my hair has some crazy wave from those braids. Um, but then we talked a little bit and I was like, that's super cool. I mean, how could you even top Percy Jackson? Like, I was just like trying to say a whole bunch of stuff that sounded cool and like that I wasn't like trying to like be like, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. Like, I just wanted to have a normal conversation. So then I was like, if this is like not okay, like it's totally fine. But like, can we take a picture together? Like just a selfie. Like I didn't want to make a whole thing because there was like a bunch of other people in this room. He's oh yeah, totally. And he was like, you don't have to feel bad about like coming up to us. Like it really makes my day. And I was like, it's nice because I was like a little bit nervous about coming up to him. So we take a selfie. I look not good. I don't like selfies, but I was like, this is just easier. And I turned on Snapchat and I looked like, I'm like, cheese. I would have preferred like a pose photo and then I was like this is like so been so nice talking to you like whatever oh and I complimented his girlfriend's outfit and he's like oh my god she would love to hear that like you should tell her and I was like right let me tell her so then I was like I also think I'm gonna have to say hi to Dylan and he was like totally like go for it like Dylan O'Brien so I walked up to Dylan and I was standing next to him and like he was talking to someone and I didn't know how to like get his attention because I wasn't gonna be like Dylan like we've never met he'd be like so I, I touch his shoulder like so lightly like not like but I literally go sorry to interrupt like the lightest touch ever I was like sorry to interrupt but like I just want to say like I'm a huge fan like you killed it in the all too well music video like all that stuff and he was like oh thanks what's your name oh both of them like asked for my name and shook my hand which was very nice and very like formal like felt like we were just like meeting people and not like celebrities you know and so we talked a little bit Logan was like super super nice like going out of his way to be nice whereas Dylan like was a little bit like standoffish which is like fine because like I'm not like here like crying like oh my god let's take a TikTok together like all this stuff and so I told him I was like I'm not I literally said this I was like not to sound like a fangirl but like I have the all too well poster I just think it's like a really great like short film I think it's beautiful and he was like oh my god they have posters and I was like yeah like you know taylor she's always on the merge and he was like i had no idea but like obviously like that's so she's on top of everything i was like yeah you do know taylor swift and i don't but and then i was like if not this is totally okay but like could we take a selfie and he was like oh yeah for sure we take a selfie and then he started like talking to someone else so i was like i don't know if that's him like blowing me off and then i like pulled out my phone and he was like oh well, like i was kidding like about like blowing me off like he was talking to someone and he was like, oh yeah, like for sure. Like, I don't want you to think I was like not gonna actually take the selfie. So we took a selfie. It's better. Um, he's like, but it's a better picture than the one of me with me and Logan. I don't like how I look in that one. But then I was like, oh, like are you a fan of the bleachers? I don't know. I was trying to sound nonchalant, but also like not linger for too long. And he was like, oh yeah, like we're friends with Jack, Jack Antonoff. And I was like slay now i kind of sound stupid because like obviously you're a fan of your friends with them but like whatever and then he was like oh yeah and this is jack's sister and then jack and Tom's sister is like right in front of me and she looks like jack and she's like hi and then i think people started to think that i was like one of their friends or like a celebrity or something because like random people started like shaking my hand and stuff like jack and Tom's sister like shook my hand i was like nice to meet you and then some other girl like just came up to Dylan. Like, I don't know if like maybe a boo thing or something. I don't really know. Like I, Dylan and Logan are celebrities that I like are cool. Like I recognize them, but like I don't know like about their lives and stuff. So like she started walking up to Dylan and she was like, hey, like shook my hand and I was like, hey. And then I was like, well, thanks so much. Like I just had to come say hi to both of you. Cause like it's super cool. And then the concert started shortly after and it was super fun and they sang all like amazing songs and i had a really great time so i really didn't expect to meet logan Lerman and dylan o'brien at a bleachers concert but it happened and it was really fun so i'm gonna go to bed now because it's like past midnight and i'm tired and also i have to go back to la in two days so yeah super fun night super like cool meeting those people like those are two people that i was like whoa and everyone on my snapchat was freaking out because i posted a video be like can someone confirm if this is logan lerman because like i don't know and everyone was like i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure and then the next picture is me and logan and then the next one is me and dylan and people are like chloe i'm freaking out for you and i was like so yeah 
I'm gonna go to bed now. Thanks so much for watching the vlog. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.